Kurt Schilling, who fell 16 votes shy of being inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame on Tuesday, has asked to be removed from the ballot in 2022, his final year of eligibility. In a letter to the Hall of Fame, Schilling said the organization has been, otherworldly kind and gracious in every way possible and I'll be forever grateful. As I've stated often over the past years to those I've spoken with in my heart I am at peace. Nothing, zero, none of the claims being made by any of the writers hold merit, Schilling wrote. In my 22 years playing professional baseball in the most culturally diverse locker rooms in sports, I've never said or acted in any capacity other than being a good teammate. I will not participate in the final year of voting. I am requesting to be removed from the ballot. I'll defer to the Veterans Committee and men whose opinions actually matter and who are in a position to actually judge a player," Schilling wrote. I don't think I'm a Hall of Famer as I've often stated, but if former players think I am then I'll accept that with honor. I want to share with everyone the letter I wrote to the folks at the Hall of Fame yesterday. They've been otherworldly. Posted by Kurt Schilling on Tuesday, January 26, 2021 Schilling was one of the few major leaguers to speak out against steroid use. Schilling was embroiled in controversy for some of his shoot-from-the-hip remarks, particularly on social media. In 2015, he was suspended from broadcasting the Little League World Series for ESPN after he posted a tweet comparing radical Muslims to Nazis. Schilling was fired from ESPN in April 2016 after sharing a Facebook post that appeared to be a reaction to a North Carolina law that barred transgender people from using bathrooms and locker rooms that did not match the gender on their birth certificates. Ballots for the Hall of Fame were cast before Schilling's tweet on January 6, which showed apparent support for people who stormed the U.S. Capitol. According to the tweet, Schilling said that the crowd started, confrontation for, stuff, that matters. The media has created a Kurt Schilling that does not and has never existed," Schilling wrote to the Hall. It's one of the things that has allowed me to sleep at night. Not an ounce of that is to absolve myself of sin, Lord knows I've committed my share and will do so again. Never malicious, never to willfully or intentionally hurt another person. I was 100% accountable and still am. Even the thought of responding to claims of Nazi, or racist, or any other term so watered down and rendered meaningless by spineless cowards who have never met me makes me ill. In modern times responding to such drivel somehow validates the claim. A staunch Republican, Schilling was an enthusiastic supporter of President Donald Trump, who tweeted his support for Schilling's Hall of Fame candidacy in 2019. Born in Anchorage, Alaska, on November.